Hi, in this video, we will explain how to find all possible points between two given points. We will use a very common variation of the vector line equation, and it has a lot of practical application in your parametric design. So given two points, Q and P, we want to use the parametric equation of a line or derive an equation that could find all possible points m that lie in between these two points. So given point Q and point P, how can we find all possible points m using parameter t? From vector subtractions, we know that given two points a and b, we can find a vector that's going from A to B. Let's call it vector A. Vector A is equal to, remember, 2 minus from B minus A. This is a quick reminder of vector subtraction, uh, an equation we derived from vector subtraction. So knowing that equation, we know that we can define vector A that goes all the way from Q to point P by subtracting P minus Q. Let's write that. A equals P minus Q. Now the length of our vector A is equal to the full distance between Q and P. Now if I multiply vector A by a factor t, and I constrain t to be between 0 and 1, then I will get a vector v that has partial length or a smaller length of vector a. Let's say this is our vector v. So v equals t times a. Let's call that equation 1. In order to find my point M, what I need to do is to add Q plus V. M equals Q plus V. I can rewrite that to be M equals Q plus T times vector A. And remember, T's values are between 0 and 1. We already know that vector A is equal to P minus Q. So we can write the equation that M equals Q plus T times P minus Q. Now we are able to find all points M between the two points Q and P using parameter T that is, between the values 0, 2, 1. Notice if t is equal to 0, so let's substitute here, q plus 0 times p minus q, that goes m is equal to q. That means if I have value 0, then my m will land on top of a q. If we use value 1, then m equals q plus 1 times p minus q, which is the same as saying p equals q plus p minus q. q cancels, and m equals p. That means my m will land on top of p. All values in between 0 to 1 will land me some points between Q and P. So a new form of vector equation of line that has a lot of practical application in my modeling, parametric modeling, is M equals Q plus T times P minus Q. 
given two points, Q and P, and a parameter between the values 0 to 1, I can find all possible points between these two points. Let's verify that in a grasshopper. The parametric equation to find a point M between two points P and Q is M equals Q plus T times P minus Q. And it assumes T to have value between zero and one. Let's define two points. Let's call that Q. and this P. Let's hook Q to the red display and the P to the blue display. Now I have my points, the red point Q and the blue point P, and I would like to find all possible points between P and Q using parameter between zero and one. Now this is set up between zero and one. That's my parameter T. Now if we follow the equation M, which is the point I want to display, let's create a display for point M. I'll make the color perhaps green. That is my M display. This is my P display. And this is my other given point, which is Q. So given my two points, Q and P, I'd like to find point M in between these two points using parameter T. The equation is, and I'll use an expression, we have three values, Q, P, and my variable or parameter, T, Q, P, and T. Let's consolidate. The equation is M equals Q plus T times P minus Q. Let's hook the output to my point M display. We can hide that. As you can see, I was able to create point M. If I drag my parameter T all the way to zero, my point M will coincide with my initial point Q, starting point. And if I drag it, it will start approaching my end point P. And when my parameter is one, it will coincide with point P. And this is how you implement the equation in a grasshopper.